What's poppin'? It's your boy Kaden Alpha Nerd, and we in it. Today's topic is gonna be how to build attachment with women. So basically, how to get women attached to you, bro. And this is this one of those topics I feel like I need to go over, bro, because people need to realize that when a woman has an attachment. Whether it be to you or somebody else, that overrides all the logic, bro. That overrides all the all the tactics and techniques that you can do because her attachment, like, say for example, she break up with her boyfriend, right? And she only been broken up with this dude for two, three months, five months, and you date her. You go out with her, things are going really good, really well, and then suddenly she just pulled back on you. And then next thing you know, she end up back with this dude, or she end up with this dude intimately again. And you like, damn, everything was going straight. Everything was going right. Bro, it's because an attachment was built with that man. She has more history with him. She has more of an attachment with him. She has more invested in him, and that's what's so important about it. Investment, bro. That's what the attachment is really about. It's really about investment, right? So, and you ain't really got nothing invested in it. Y'all might have slept together once. Y'all might have been on a date, been on two dates. But you ain't got the type of investment from her that he got in her, bro. That's why a lot of times, like, that's why that happened. That's why a lot of times I don't fuck around with females who just got out of relationships. I don't put them in a, you know, potential relationship or even my, my rotation zone. I fuck those females, too. But I don't really look at them as nothing more than just that. That being said, you drop a like, it take two seconds to do, but it make all the difference in these videos, my guy. Anyway, moving forward. So let's get straight to it. That said, bro, like how do I build an attachment with females? How do I make it so that I can have females on me like that, bro? Investment, investment, investment. So think about it. If you, in your everyday life, was just walking, right? And somebody gave you a free TV, right? Okay, cool. You bring the TV home, you mount the TV, all of that good stuff. But then... You need a second TV, and you go buy the TV. Which TV do you think you're going to care about the most? The TV that you just got handed to you or the one that you had to put your money into, your hard-earned money into? That's just it right there. Females want to invest into something. They batshit crazy, bro. Like, they batshit. We all know that, but they want to invest into something. And so if you can make her invest into you, you can get her attached to you, bro. Because everybody want to see something get paid back off, off of their investment, bro. People stay in like stocks and all types of stuff like that too long because they want something back off their investment. Until they shit go into the ground and burn them alive, bro. All off investment. Like, man, I done invested too much into this. That's why half of y'all simp ass beta male niggas be... Stand with these females who y'all know y'all ain't got no business stand with because you so invested. You invested so much into her that it's like, man, I don't want to leave because of this and that and this. Or I bought her a car. I did this. I did that. Like, because you too invested into her. Reverse engineer that, bro. Think about that. That's how you build attachment. Time. Time. Time is the most important thing. When it comes to men and women, women don't want to invest their time into you. That's why they be flaking on dates and shit. Because they don't want to have to invest their time into you if you're not a high value male. They don't want to have to invest their time into you if they feel like they're not going to get the desired outcome out of it, right? So let's say you stand in your masculine frame. Let's say you on your purpose. Let's say you got a roster and you got a girl in a roster that you want to take it further with, bro. The best way to do that is to make her invest in you. So what do you do? You peel back the amount that you communicate with her. Have her reaching out first. Like if she reaching out to you two times a week and you reaching out to her two times a week, right? And y'all seeing each other three, four times a week. Peel it back, like slowly. You have to do it slowly. Slowly go back after one week, you know what I mean? Just only hit her up once. She might hit you up twice a week. You hit her up once that week, bro. And then you go the next two weeks only hitting her up once a week. 
and she gonna reach out more and more now she doing more of the pursuing more of the reaching out bro and then soon she reaching out reaching out reaching out you just don't do none like you just slowly go until you not doing none of the pursuing at all so now she doing all the pursuing which means she doing all the investing another thing having her come to you like maybe you go to her crib you spend nights at her crib you do this and that with her at her crib you have her come to you like yo i'm i'm too tired to go out this weekend or, i'm too tired to come to your crib why don't you just come over to me you feel me? Why don't you just come over here? You know, we can have a good time. We can make some wine, make some dinner, spend some time together. Have her come to you. The more she has to do for you, bro, the more invested she becomes, bro. Maybe you in the middle of your workday. And this is something you can only do once in a while, bro. I say no more than once a month because you don't want to get distracted from your purpose and you don't want her Feeling like she can distract you from your purpose. But, you know, once a month, just tell her, like, hey, baby, why don't you bring me some lunch on my lunch break? We could spend my lunch break together between my work. If you work for yourself like I do, you know what I mean? Like, let's say I take my lunch break at 3.30 p.m., right? I decide that that's what I want. Hey, baby, why don't you slide back during my lunch break and we can, you know what I mean? You bring me some lunch and we can eat lunch together. Like, boom, you eat lunch with a... For and only once a month, because we usually only want to create moments for sex to happen. But only once a month, you know, you have lunch with her because that is a friendly vibe. But what this does is have her invest because she's bringing something to you because she has a task to do. And you are having her do that fucking task. Right. They like kids, bro. Women like big ass kids. You have them do something. Hey, why don't you go color in this coloring book? You know what I mean? And they happy to do it because it's a task that you gave them. She bring you lunch. You eat lunch with her for an hour. And then you like, all right, I got to get back to work. You got to go. Send her on her way. Make sure you, you can't miss that part. The part where you send her on her way, bro. You have to send her on her way, right? So when creating an attachment with women, you got to understand what an attachment is. An attachment is just... Being so invested in something that it hurts you to be without it. Like, or you get anxiety or something to be without it, right? So think about those feelings y'all get, bro, when she ain't contacted you for four, five days. You don't want to know what that is. That's attachment from spending all your time with that female, bro. That's what that is. You attached to her. Now you feel like you got to reach out to her because you scared about where you stand. That's why you want to have females, bro. You always want to hide them scared about where they stand. Always. So think about it. You got this female. You like, yeah, I'm feeling her, whatever, whatever. But then, like, I got this this in my inbox, I think, three times just yesterday, bro. Like, yo, I got this female. Like, I was messing with her. I was talking to her. And then, like, she just pulled back on me. Now she fucking with some other dude. Like, now she with some other dude. She probably was already attached to that dude, bro. No amount of these techniques and all that can break her attachment with another man. The only thing you could do is appear your most masculine, bro, and do everything right when you with her. And guess what? When he fuck up, because he will fuck up. He always fuck up, baby. They always do. When he fuck up, guess who she going to be right back running towards? But if you chase her and you act needy and insecure and like, oh, I got to beat this dude out because I'm so fucking macho of a man. Like, you got to do all that. She ain't going to come back to you, dog. She going to you going to run her more towards him because nine out of ten, he doing enough right to keep her attached. But the reason she came to you in the first place is because he ain't doing everything right. He fucking something up. And it's going to get to some point where she tired of him fucking up. And she going to come her funky ass right back to you. And as AMS will say, she got to suck a whole lot of dick when she get back. She got to. But you got to understand that you have to do something to make her invest, bro, when she get back. That is how you build an attachment. So when she get back, be like, yeah, I don't like how you disappeared, baby. I don't like all that. I don't like how you went and, you know what I mean, you went cold on me, blah, blah, blah. How you going to make that up to me? You know what I mean? Make her do something, bro. Make her suck your dick all weekend. 
Lick your toes if you into that kind of thing. Make her do something. She got to do something. The more she do, and this don't mean like make her a slave, bro. This don't mean like every time she come over, yeah, bitch, start cleaning the flows with the towel or the toothbrush and you better get every spot. No, this don't mean that. This just mean like subtly make her invest in you because things we invest in, we become attached to, bro. But with that being said, I'm going to end the video right there. Make sure y'all subscribe because I got more heat coming. You already know. Alpha Nerd Game, we going strong. If you're new to the channel, comment, subscribe, like the video, bro, so we can get up there, bro. That being said, I'm out of here.